Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. Thank you for tuning in to the Prophet Daniel's Report. This is Daniel White IV, the eldest son of Daniel White III. The intro music that you just heard is my late grandfather, Daniel White Jr., singing a song titled Get Ready. Today, my father, Daniel White III, is going to share with you news and information relating to biblical prophecy so that you can be prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Daniel White III is the national best-selling author of over 20 books, including Just Jesus and The Prayer Motivator. He has spoken in meetings across the United States and in 23 foreign countries, and is the president of Gospelite Society and Torch Ministries International. Now, here's your host, Daniel White III. Welcome to the Prophet Daniel's Report. This is report number 176. My name is Daniel White III, here to remind you that... The Lord Jesus Christ is coming back soon, believe it or not, and that you need to be prepared for that. This broadcast is not about predictions, nor is it about foolishly setting dates, uh, as some have, when God has made it clear to us not to do that. However, it is all about preparation. First today... Let's look at some signs of his coming in the news. The disciples asked Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, 3, What shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Jesus Christ then went on to give them and us clear signs that show us when we can begin to expect to see the coming of the Lord and the end of the world as we know it. Looking at world events through the lens of the Word of God, let's look at some headlines from today's news that point to the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. First up today, the United States denies cutting a deal with Iran to avoid war. According to Reuters, the White House denied an Israeli newspaper report that accused Washington of secretly negotiating with Tehran to keep the United States out of a future Israel-Iran war. White House spokesman Jay Carney told Reuters, It's incorrect, completely incorrect. The report is false and we don't talk about hypotheticals. Secondly today, Iran says it has completed 30% of its missile defense system. According to Reuters, Iran has built about 30% of a missile defense system it is developing in place of the Russian S-300 system which Moscow refused to sell it. The country hopes to complete the system by next year. Iran, which is under mounting pressure from Israel and Western powers over its controversial nuclear program, has unveiled upgrades to weapons systems and held several military exercises this year to demonstrate its ability to defend itself. Third today, depression and suicide rates rise in Europe as Euro debt crisis intensifies. According to CNBC, Europe is approaching a mental health crisis as the region's debt crisis and austerity measures increase the rates of depression, suicide, and psychological problems. A growing number of global and European health bodies 
are warning that the introduction and intensification of austerity measures has led to a sharp rise in mental health problems with suicide rates, alcohol abuse, and requests for antidepressants increasing as people struggle with the psychological cost of living through a European-wide recession and depression. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in Luke 21, 25, and 26, There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in more detail and get more Second Coming related news on our website at secondcomingherald.com. Now it is time for Prophecy Boot Camp. Prophecy Boot Camp is where we deal with the basics of prophecy, the second coming of Christ, and what will happen in the future according to the Bible. Our aim here is not to make predictions, but to help you get prepared by understanding how things will unfold in the end times. Our topic for today is titled, Daniel's Dream, Part 2, from Dr. John MacArthur's book, The Second Coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The second beast Daniel saw in his dream was a bear, which signified Medo-Persia. The Bible reads, And behold, another beast, a second, like to a bear, and it raised up itself on one side. This has reference to the dual nature of the Medo-Persian Empire and the fact that the strength of the empire was the one-sided strength of Persia. Further, verse 5 says, And it had three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it possibly referring to Persia, Uh, Media and Babylonia and they said thus unto it arise devour much flesh in other words this second kingdom was to expand and it did the Medo-Persian empire expanded westward the third beast Daniel saw in his dream was a leopard which signified Greece After this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. The beast had also four heads, and dominion was given to it. Pictured here is the swift sweeping leopard, Alexander the Great, followed by the four generals who took over his kingdom of Greece when he died. Ladies and gentlemen, Lord willing, we will continue looking at Daniel's dream in our next broadcast. In closing, let's consider what God wants you and I to do in light of his second coming. Jesus Christ said in Luke 19.13 to occupy till I come. God wants us to be faithful witnesses for him in the last days. We should be engaged in spreading the gospel to those around us. In light of that, please listen to the following from William Fay, author of Share Jesus Without Fear. Today's topic is titled, How to Pray for Non-Believers, Part 7. It may also help you to make a list of unbelievers for whom you can pray. You may want to name friends, family, co-workers, politicians, governmental officials, movie, and television personalities, doctors, nurses, secretaries, receptionists, sales clerks, hairdressers, neighbors, or any other uh, person. In other words, anyone with whom you come in contact. If your list is very long, 
you may want to rotate it so you can cover everyone on your list in a week's time. Ladies and gentlemen, God tells us in Philippians 4, 6 and 7, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Holy Father God, we do praise you and we thank you for your holy word. We thank you, Lord, for reminding us today in so many ways that uh, you are coming back soon. And Lord, we thank you for uh, how your Holy Spirit has revealed your word to us so that we can prepare ourselves for the rapture, so that we can prepare ourselves for the second coming. And Lord, at the same time, uh, in a practical way, to occupy until you come, uh, to pray for people who are not saved. Grant us your grace and the power of your Holy Spirit in your mind to pray for all people who are not saved because you're not willing that any should perish. In Jesus Christ, the name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Speaking of that, dear friend, if you're listening to this broadcast and you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, God wants to save you uh, before the Lord comes back. God wants you to receive Jesus Christ before he returns. Please understand that you are a sinner and you have broken God's laws at some point in your life. Uh, you know you have. You might as well admit it. I have done uh, those things as well. We all have. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Uh, please also understand that because of your sins, you deserve eternal punishment in hell. Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death. This is both physical death and spiritual death in hell. Now that is bad news, but here is the good news. John 3.16 reads, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This verse is telling us that despite our sinfulness, God loved us so much that he sent his Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer and die on the cross for our sins. After he died on the cross for you and me, he was buried and rose again. Now all you have to do is believe in him, trust in him, and have faith in him for your salvation. If you do so, you will not suffer eternal punishment in hell. Rather, you will live eternally in heaven with God by his mercy and by his grace. The Bible also says in Romans 10, 9, and 13 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, dear friend, if you are willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation, please pray with me this simple prayer. Heavenly Father, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Dear friend, if you just trusted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior right where you are and uh, you prayed that prayer with me and you meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the Word of God, you are now saved and on your way to heaven. You're saved from hell and uh, on your way to heaven and the devil himself can't stop you. 
Welcome to the family of God. I want to congratulate you on doing the most important thing in life, and that is receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to gospelightsociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty four forty two. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Keep looking up, for your redemption draweth nigh. Let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator. Uh, when he prayed, even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in to the Prophet Daniel's Report. Remember, you can stay up to date with prophecy news and events on our website at secondcomingherald.com. If you would like to know more about accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior, what to do after salvation, or looking for a good church home, please visit gospelitesociety.com for more information. This radio broadcast can be heard daily on Live 365, bcnnradio7.com, gospelightworldradio.com, Buzzsprout, iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, and can be downloaded from numerous outlets online. God bless, and until next time, keep looking up for your redemption draw if not. Now here's a song that will encourage you as you await Christ's return. You got to get your